hello and welcome back on my channel. In today's episode we will start to ballasting this last piece of train tracks. Then we will build a bigger traffic lights inside this intersection. We will connect this station to the ground. And because Christmas time is coming, I have here this small Christmas tree with few gifts that I will place somewhere in front of the modular buildings. And last but not least, I will build some trees that I will put on this green area to decorate this section a little bit because now it looks just too empty. And also I was wondering to remove this station because now when the loop is smaller, when the train goes from the station, the end is still in the station but the front is already arriving to this station. So there is really no point of having these two so close to each other. Also I'm still waiting for my bricklink order so we can start to work on this construction site and also I would like to have a new building that will be completely mocked and it will be already built next to this one maybe a small skyscraper. Let's start with the ballasting of the train tracks but I don't have much time today so I will do just this straight section and because you saw and because and because you saw me ballasting a train track quite often in the last time I will speed up the time lapse a little bit more so we can move on on to the next things Ballasting is complete, station is also in place, I had to raise it up by one stud so it will be in level with the train tracks and it looks really good in the city. So now I will try to remove this fountain and replace it with our Christmas tree. So what do you think? Does it fit there? I think the height is great. Just a small place to walk around. But that shouldn't be, the, be a problem. And that is probably all I can do this year. So maybe next time it will be better. So now I will start to build some trees. And then we move on to the traffic lights.
I think this type of trees is just the best for my city. They are not very really high and also not very expensive to build. Currently I can build only three of them, but I ordered over 200 of these pieces. So we will have a huge forest like a park with bigger trees and some paths over the park. So these three trees will go in this corner. So what do you think about them? I just love them. They look so cute. I need a lot more of it. Now the last thing that we need today is to build a huge traffic light in this intersection. I choose a really simple design. This is all the pieces that we are need for three traffic lights. So let me show you how to build it. And there comes the problem. Which color should be in the middle? In one original Lego set that I have, they decided to put a yellow in the middle. But I actually prefer to have an orange in the middle. So I will leave it up to you. Write in the comment section which color you think should be in the middle of my traffic lights in the city. So there we have it, three traffic lights. Now just put them on their places in the middle. So what do you think? This design is very simple and is focused on the later modification because there in the back, because here in the back there is a space for small LED and we can wrap the wires by this axle and hide them somewhere underneath the base plate. But for now I will leave it like this and in the next episode I will put one of this color. So this will be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or tips write it down in the comment section. Have a nice day and bye. And if you stay I have one extra time lapse for you because I forgot to put a fence around the train tracks.